we're back with former Lieutenant Governor Kaleo Moylan. Let's uh, switch gears now. Put on your finance hat, because in the legislature you served two terms, did you not? Yes. Yes, you were the finance uh, chair, Ways and Means uh, director. We're in a financial mess at this point. A um, couple of your ideas, and, uh, and, and one of the reasons why, again, I, I asked you to come here is because I know, I mean, we've gotten together, we have spoken about this, and wow, I mean, is there, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? And I know you have some notes. I know you have that light at the end of that tunnel there. Help us out. <laughs> well, there's always light at the end of the tunnel if there's a willingness mm -hmm. uh, to take the, the necessary steps to get us there. Um, when you're faced with a uh, financial crisis, such mm -hmm. as what Congress and, and all state governments have mm -hmm. in the last two years. Yeah, we're not unique in this we're, situation. We're not yeah. unique, and, and the solutions to the issues aren't unique. Uh, there's mm -hmm. things that we've implemented in the past that can be re-implemented now. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, the allotment reductions. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's no, there should be no sacred cows. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be reforms in different programs sure, that are available, sure. MIP. You should strengthen the... the as, as needed reform for a long time. Right, it mm -hmm. has. Uh, and the, the financial infrastructure uh, over at the hospital and at DOE need to mm -hmm. be strengthened sure. so that we're not pouring money uh, into systems that mm -hmm. are just bleeding. So but, but we try to designate a source at one time with DOE. Well, it's not, it, just, it's not just a fund source mm -hmm. that they need. They need actually a good fiscal management team mm -hmm. uh, in place so that the funds that you do uh, mm -hmm. allocate uh, mm -hmm. to them are used properly. And, and that's really the critical issue that we're seeing right now. You know, for instance, the government continues to use uh, tax refunds, provisions for tax re refunds for government operations. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that uh, should stop, should never have been done mm -hmm. uh, because it's not the government's money. That's sure. the taxpayer's money. money. So. Uh, what the government will need to do is, is look at its uh, expenditures and say, look, uh, hiring freezes should be implemented uh, uh, across the uh, board reductions and allotments and maximizing federal grants that exist, reducing our, our federal dis, uh, um, disallowed costs, mm -hmm. um, reforming the different programs, uh, as I said earlier, uh, and, and then reorganizing and outsourcing things that uh, reduce our costs as a government. Those mm -hmm. things need to happen, and they need to happen uh, together. If you want to do bridge financing, that's good, mm -hmm. but you have to do it in connection with actual hard reductions mm -hmm. to your expenditures and then put in a deficit elimination plan mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. truly works and, and we're not just talking about it, but we're actually implementing mm -hmm. it. So the Bureau of Budget and, and Department of Administration play key roles in, in ensuring that we're spending within uh, the mm -hmm. revenues that we receive. Um, and a lot of this is boring to most people mm -hmm. because, you know, they expect the money to be there to, mm -hmm. to go to work to get paid. But you know, at the same time, it's the responsibility of, of, mm -hmm. uh, of leadership to ensure that sometimes we have to say no to things, right? And that's the hard yeah, part. Well, right? well, basically, the, 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 the government of Guam has to, to really get on a, a really severe financial diet. Well, you know, and uh, I'm giving credit, you know, uh, the, the administration has mm -hmm. stepped up sure. and, and they're coming out publicly and they're, mm -hmm. and they're, they're telling the public uh, what they see and, mm -hmm. and, and their plan of action. So. Um, now the, the hard step is sure. working with the legislature sure. and mm -hmm. the administration in, in implementing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some of these tough choices. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't turn a blind eye and say that the build-up will come and, and cover these, mm -hmm. these, uh, these expenditures of years past. The deficit is here because we overspent, so we need to, to cut back on on the cake. And I tell you what, man, I wish we had more time, but we're, I'm going to have to have you come back here as we watch the traversing of uh, this financial situation, the legislature and the executive branch, and we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll analyze where they're going and, and whether or not they're possibly ta taking the, the right route with that. But thank you very much. I appreciate you yes, coming thanks here for this evening. Appreciate it. That's going to do it uh, for this version of The Buzz. Join me tomorrow morning at Isla 63, your Island Pride Station, for more of The Buzz. But for tonight, it's adios. Thank you again. See you later.